Providence Dental Company of Mary Hospital here in Torrance has added a groundbreaking medical resource to their training tool that brings real-life scenarios to the operating table. Julie Parton has the story. Seventy percent. Going to have better outcomes for your patients. Clinical simulation helps life-like patient that actually respond to treatment. Most the faculty goes into the control room. They adjust the manic. Speak. It might be to stop breathing. It might be to increase his heart rate. Providence Little Company of Mary applied for and received a $950,000 three-year grant from the UniHealth Foundation. With the funds, they built an innovative new lab together in the facility and debrief afterwards. Simulation is very anxiety-provoking. You're performing in front of your peers. You have no idea what the scenario is going to be, which is very realistic, similar to patient care. Over 1,200 physicians, nurses, and other staff will have the hospital situation. heart attack, and hemorrhaging. My hope always is that we are prepared for any type of event that occurs. While the program is new and still being implemented, medical professionals who have participated in the lab are thrilled with the results. This will help the communication of the healthcare team um, and it, by, by improve the uh, patient safety. It's really about the patients, always, when we're doing simulation. What is there, if anything, that we can do differently or better? Clinical simulation is expected to become the standard of excellence in the medical industry over the next few years. I'm Julie Parton for This Week in Torrance. Thank you, Julie. In a recent study by Thomson Reuters, Providence Little Company of Mary was named one of the nation's top 100 hospitals with intense training like the simulation lab. There's no doubt it will continue to lead the way in medical care.